In a time of political unrest, fall 2017 saw many in the fashion world using their craft to react to current events around the globe. Top industry players had much to say about the politically charged and socially conscious season. The beauty of fashion is that it's a mirror of our culture and designers really translate what's going on around us. We're seeing sometimes a bit of negativity on the runway with everything politically that's happening and people using the runway as a place to post their point of view, positive or otherwise, many times negative. These are very unusual times and a lot of people, they're sort of trying to process everything and their way of doing that is through their work and through their clothes. So I'm not sure that I would necessarily call it political as much as I might just call it therapy. I just came from Pavel Garang's show where the models all had really fantastic, simple white message t-shirts on. I went to the Women's March in New York and I wanted to capture that essence of what I felt and like, you know, bring it there and make it uh, palpable for people. People cannot deny it's a mountain of women protesting around the world. We really have to fight for women's rights, but we need to fight for all human rights. Let's show it and give strength also to the people that has a lower voice. We saw women marching and it just kind of energized us. We just wanted to add that kind of positive way of doing empowerment. Kind of seeing women march but with a smile on their face, just being like their own type of warrior. Bring change with energy yeah. through colors in a way. I always think fashion really reflects what's going on in the world. And I, I really wanted this to exemplify the idea of strength, but strength with a lot of sensuality and a lot of opulence. We're seeing this idea of a very confident woman on many of the New York runways. It's not about making a statement that's splashed across the clothes. It's making a statement when you wear the clothes that you wear them and you wear them with great confidence. And that's really what beauty is all about. I feel like everyone needs a brightening up lately. And this is a great way to do it with makeup, just having fun, being playful, and not caring what anyone thinks. Look at my team. Look at the people I employ. It's diversity, it's women of color, and it's inclusive. And that's what's really important right now. I know fashion can sometimes be narrow-minded, but for me, it is always about different people. We all have a responsibility to be accountable for the way that we perceive other people that may be vulnerable or include or not include people. Seeing as we have a platform during London Fashion Week, it's our small opportunity to start a conversation. I think fashion's role in a major way right now is shining our light on how we put out what beautiful is. And to me, beautiful is a wide spectrum of diversity. Beautiful encompasses all women. Identity is the heart of fashion and it's what makes fashion so transformative and gives us the potential to transform communities, transform people's thinking about each other and themselves. All of that is possible by what you wear. I think fashion designers have an incredible responsibility because uh, young people listen to them, so it's important that they communicate and they say what they think and they stand for what they believe in. These forms of art, whether it's music or arts or fashion, it's a way of uniting us and connecting us, whereas in many ways we might be divided. This is an opportunity to connect in a way that is not anybody's side. No matter your political view, it, it was clear that people had an opinion and they wanted it to be heard. Fashion and all of us, we don't, we don't live outside of politics. And so it, it's really for each one of us to decide how much of an activist we want to be, what, what do we, you know, what will we stand up for.